Big thanks to Setapp for sponsoring our channel this month. Setapp, an app for every job already on your Mac. By now, you've probably heard of Siri Shortcuts, and if you haven't, it's just a way for you to do more with your favorite apps by actually having to do less. Pretty cool, right? But do you understand why you should care? Why Siri Shortcuts are such a big deal? Today, I'm gonna share four huge reasons why you should be using Siri Shortcuts, along with some really creative examples of how other people are using Siri Shortcuts, along with some of my favorite Siri shortcuts. But before we get into it, I wanna talk about why Siri shortcuts can seem a little intimidating and why you shouldn't be scared off. I think a lot of people are gonna do exactly this. Open up the shortcuts app, take a look around, yawn, and then never come back because they just don't understand what all can be done and how powerful it is. And I'm gonna call this the blank paper syndrome. You know how if you have a blank piece of paper sitting on the table in front of you and you could use it to create anything at all, but the hardest part is just thinking up something great to create in the first place? That's the blank paper syndrome. But get ready to make a note because I got three resources that can really, really help you out and spark your creativity. First of all, there's a website called ShareCuts and it's a place where people share the shortcuts that they made and all you have to do is tap on one to start using it yourself. Second, you're definitely gonna wanna check out the shortcut subreddit, which is slash r slash shortcuts, because this might be the best place right now to find creative new shortcuts. Third, and this is the easiest, with iOS 12 installed, just go to settings, Siri and search, and then check all shortcuts under the suggested Siri shortcuts. That's where you're gonna find all the simple suggested shortcuts that you can make right now with zero extra effort. So there you go, no more blank paper syndrome. If that's all you got out of this video, it'd be totally worth it, but there's so much more. Today's video is sponsored by Chotech, who's showing off their USB-C to HDMI cable, which is available on Amazon right now for $19.99. If you're looking for a solution for transferring exceptionally smooth 4K footage from your Mac to your monitor, projector, or TV, this is a great option. It's 4K 60 hertz capable with a convenient 90 degree angle and a durable braided nylon cover. Check it out using the link down in the description. Before we get into why series shortcuts are gonna be such a big deal for you, I wanna make sure nobody writes off shortcuts as being too simple and therefore pointless or being too complicated and therefore over your head. True, Siri shortcuts are basically simple actions. Yeah, but the real power comes when you stack multiple actions and then initiate them with one simple shortcut. And you're gonna see why it's so awesome in just a second. On the other hand, people could open shortcuts, tap on the plus icon, and then freeze thinking that they need to be a programmer to build their own shortcut. Look, you don't have to know any code if you wanna build or use a custom Siri shortcut. You could either just use or stack what's available in the gallery, or you could adapt something that somebody's already built using those resources that I shared with you earlier. And if you do wanna go deeper and build something from scratch, it's really more like visual coding. It's just drag and drop. And honestly, 30 minutes on YouTube and you'll have a pretty good idea of how it works. But still though, if that super freaks you out, then just go ahead and stick with the auto-generated suggestions. You'll be cool, but we're gonna move into why you need to be using Siri shortcuts in the first place. In just a minute, I'm gonna get to some interesting examples, but first, here are four reasons why Siri shortcuts are worth mastering. Reason number one, and this is huge, really huge, Siri shortcuts can help you get more done while spending less time doing it. It's like Gary Vee says, time is everyone's number one asset. So shortcuts can compress like 20 or 30 different actions into the pressing of a single button or the speaking of a phrase. Like I can't wait until I can figure out how to get it to promote my videos and watch as the content floods out into social media using something like Buffer. Reason number two, Siri shortcuts is your opportunity to make the Siri experience unique to you. Think about it. Up until now, the Siri experience has been pretty much the same for everyone around the globe. But now, you have the ability to bend Siri to your will. And I'll just put this out there. I've already seen examples of people using Siri shortcuts to make Siri do the things that they always wanted it to do, but that it couldn't do or wouldn't do in the first place. Reason number three, you're absolutely not taking full advantage of the Apple ecosystem if you're not using Siri shortcuts. Do you remember a few videos back when I was talking about the Apple ecosystem and I said I could summarize it in one word, which was convenience? Well, Siri Shortcuts takes that convenience and spreads it out across the ecosystem even more. Of course, shortcuts show up on your phone any place that you'd want them to, in regular old Siri, on the lock screen, in the search menu, as a widget, and in the share sheet. But you'll also be able to access the shortcuts you create across the ecosystem, including on the HomePod, the Apple Watch, and even in CarPlay. Now, I'm excited about all of that, but I'm extra excited about how good the HomePod just got because this is basically putting apps on the HomePod. It's a complete game changer. Reason number four is, <laughs> you guessed it, privacy. Because the machine learning that governs Siri shortcuts all happens on device. It's not sent out your potentially sensitive information to remote data centers. Plus, you can disable shortcut suggestions from appearing on the lock screen, look up, or search. Now, Alexa or Google Assistant can say they can do all kinds of things that Siri can't, but here's one example 
of something that Siri does that the others don't. So shortcuts are definitely worth using, but here are some creative examples of how other people are using shortcuts beyond just airdropping a screenshot or playing music from their favorite artist. I think the coolest shortcut I've even heard of so far is one that comes in handy when you're getting pulled over by the police. So you can just say, I'm getting pulled over, and it will pause any music that might be playing, turn down the screen brightness, turn on do not disturb, send a message to the contact of your choice, letting them know that you're getting pulled over along with your current location, and then, get this, it'll turn on your phone's front facing camera to record everything, and remember, the screen's brightness has been turned down, so it doesn't look like it's recording. Then, once you're done, it sends the video to the contact of your choice, turns back up the screen brightness, turns off do not disturb, it's brilliant. And that's one that you can find in the subreddit. <laughs> There's a dude that also created a shortcut to message his girlfriend a different version of good morning, babe, every morning at 9 a.m. automatically. <laughs> Pretty shady, and as he points out, I mean, you're definitely gonna get caught eventually, but still. It illustrates. And then of course you can do the more traditional thing like have a breakfast shortcut that checks the weather, estimates your commute time, starts your news podcast, and then blares Andy Minio in your kid's room on the HomePod to wake them up and get them out of bed. But the power of shortcuts isn't just about how elaborate they can be. Sometimes it's just about making your life simpler. Like you can make a shortcut that automatically turns on airplay for your HomePod when you wanna to listen to something from your phone without you having to do it manually. Next up, I just wanna share some of the shortcuts that I'm already using right now. The first shortcut I ever created activates when I say let's work and it turns on do not disturb for an hour and then plays the latest Andy Minio music at a certain volume. And that my friends is the key to productivity right there. My five favorite shortcuts that you can find in the gallery right now are dictate and share, calculate tip, do not disturb until I leave, home ETA, and say cheese. I've also got some voice enabled shortcuts as well, like for one of my all time favorite apps, Drafts 5. I've got one for putting my phone into airplane mode, and I've got one for opening the latest Apple News in Apple News, which I scan every morning and which would otherwise take several different tabs to get to. So yeah, Siri shortcuts are definitely worth spending a little time to figure out. I'm gonna link up those resources that I mentioned earlier down in the description so that you can get started. And here's a great thing, it's only going to potentially keep getting better because every app that ever exists on the platform could integrate with Siri shortcuts. And you're really just gonna be limited by your imagination with what you can create and do. So here's what would be awesome. If you've created a super amazing, useful, ultra creative shortcut, then comment about that down below because I'm sure we'd all love to see it. Or if you're not into that, like creating them, but you discovered something cool, then comment about that down below too. Or comment down below with shortcuts that you don't know how to create, but that you wish could be created. That would still be interesting and maybe someone could help you out. Don't forget, um, at Daily Tech, spelled daily T-E-K-K -K, on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, wherever. So follow me there and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.